Yeah, there's a difference between what is um, absolutely required by law and um, at the moment and what is advisable to do. Uh, the executive orders themselves have been made unenforceable. So they, they still exist. Uh, they're still out there, but they don't, um, they, there's no enforcement capacity behind them. The governor's original statement, I think they've kind of backtracked from uh, the confidence that uh, that they remained in effect for 21 days and, this, and the attorney general uh, seemed to agree that um, that really they become an unenforceable um, immediately by announcing that they would not be enforcing out of the attorney general's office either. Uh, however, one thing that businesses need to keep in mind is that under existing MIOSHA laws, there still is a general duty obligation to provide a safe work environment, a work environment free from hazards that are likely to cause serious injury or death. and. Uh, and under that obligation, it, it, it means that you can't just disregard that there's a pandemic. So what we have recommended businesses do is to look to the federal OSHA guidance here in, in the in the interim. Um, there's we know some additional orders are going to happen um, out of uh, out of state government. That some already have. There can, there will be more today and tomorrow probably. Um, there's going to be new rule sets that come out of my OSHA, the work, work worker safety division of, of state government. Um, and even though some of those, you know, there's going to be some arguments about that. There's going to be some challenges probably to some of those things uh, that a safe place to operate is with the federal OSHA rules in terms of keeping your 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 workplace, your workers safe and, and making sure that you comply with that general duty obligation. And plus, you know, it's just good business to make sure that your employees and your customers stay safe when they're doing business with you. And uh, so that's why it's important that even without the executive orders, to still make sure that you're following the generally accepted protocols and the guidance uh, to control for the epidemic and the, the pandemic that exists uh, here in our state, especially within the boundaries of, of your business that you own.